Hello viewers. Today we are going to learn how to use ERP Next API. Profit framework and ERP Next ships with an HTTP API that can be classified into remote procedure call RPC. We call whitelisted methods and representational state transfer REST to manipulate resources. Let's talk about how to call ERP Next API. This is called base URL. Every request should be added to the end of the base URL. For example, if your instance is demo.erpnext.com, then your full URL can be get https colon slash slash demo.erpnext.com slash API slash resources. Here user is the endpoint. With this URL, we can get data from user form or user doc type. Now let's talk about how to use RESTful API in ERP Next. All documents in Frappe are available via a RESTful API with prefix API slash resource. You can perform all CURD operation on them. C-U-R-D, CURD means create, read, update, and delete. In RESTful API, create is equivalent of insert in SQL statement. You can create a document by sending a POST request to endpoint syntax is API slash resource slash doc type. You need to type actual doc type name here. Now read operation. Read is the equivalent of select statement in SQL. You can read information from any documents by sending a GET request to API slash resource slash doc type slash name. Your name is the name field value of the doc type. Similarly, you can update any document by sending a put request and delete any document by sending a delete request. In our theory, let's implement RESTful API in here in next. To do so, we will use PyCharm. We are going to use Python to call RESTful API. Let's create a new project. I'm calling it API. It's creating new virtual environment. I'm copying basic template from another project. To work RESTful API, you need to import JSON and request. Request package is not installed. Let's install it. Installing package requests. Make sure your internet connection is OK. So now, import of request is completed. Package installed successfully. Base URL, base URL is the URL of your ERP next installation. For my case, it is ERP next step colon 8002 and headers authorization token. It is the API key and secret. Where do you get that? I'm showing this. Log into your ERP next and go to user. For my case, it is administrator. Go to setting. Under setting, you will find API access. This is the API key. Here is the API secret. If you click generate key, it will generate a new API secret and it will show only one time. So I am generating a new key for demo purpose. I have clicked two times. That is the final API key secret. And copy it because it will not show in second time. First part is API key and next part is API secret. Changing the secret. Now let's retrieve some data from user doc type. To do so, we are going to paste this code and I will explain it step by step. Start from doc type. User is the doc type name and we are storing the doc type name in a variable. Response will be the final output and we are sending get request to retrieve data from user doc type this is the base url it is actually retrieving url from here 
and the duct type name. This is the basic syntax for requesting data from your Pnext. And this if statement actually requesting data, if data found, it will print the response and otherwise it will show an error message failed to fetch data. Now let's run it. Here you can see the output. It is showing name field value of the doc type user. Now it is only showing the name field value. We can extend this code to retrieve value from multiple fields. In the next step, I'm going to show you that.